Namaste Soul Tribe, welcome to the Cosmic Weather Forecast. This is your first quarter moon in Capricorn occurring October 10th, 2024. So first quarters, what does it mean? It means we have a square between the sun and the moon. This is a sacred dance that activates your grand awakening as the sun and the moon when you're working with your life force, your kundalini, is connected to the third eye. So we have the merge of feminine and masculine and the moon goes round and round. And when the moon is squaring, so quarter energy, there's a sacred fire, there's a sacred friction that occurs. Comfortable? Depends, depends on what needs to be revealed what needs to be unraveled. Here we have the sun very close to Mercury in Libra. This is all about finding comfort within the process of awakening, things that we have manifested, uh, circumstances, and especially when it's squaring here with the moon, it's going to be according to our focus. Where are you going to put your focus on? Is it going to bring you comfort? Is it going to uplift you? Is it going to better your life? Okay, so there's this call here to pay attention to our focus. Your focus is light. Your focus gives life. This is something I shared last night as I was really feeling this momentum coming forward. Now, the sun merged with Mercury. It's an activation of your throat chakra and your third eye. That means, again, the words and thoughts you speak and think, this inner dialogue, how is it creating your reality and is it bringing you comfort or not? Is it bringing life to the things you want or to the things you fear? And here with the moon merged with Pluto, Pluto that is soon, just after this, October 11th, it's going to move finally direct. Those degrees here is for Pluto is all about <sighs> stepping outside of our mental prisons, okay? Because uh, Capricorn, is in the tarot the devil card that means our mind if we make the mind the master well it's <laughs> yeah it creates a lot of problems you want your mind to become your servant you want your mind to be a tool for you to focus your heart's desire into manifestation so with this friction there's going to be revelation to ourselves and cells where do we put our focus and is it serving us or not for some of you that work with my frequencies, look, we have here Mars in Cancer that has been helping us to heal a lot of the past wounds. As far as childhood, you can see here we have Cyrus and Mars between the seventh and the eighth house. So this is going to help you shine the light on how you used to focus your intention. Because this new moon cycle started with a solar eclipse. There's something so from the sun, it's something that we used to think and project that created a certain reality and we're ending those karmic patterns. Now, because it's a new moon energy, that means we have 28 days to learn how to become a magnet to good vibration. So realize that this whole eclipse phase that we uh, experienced and then with the solar eclipse, we're still learning. We're still learning and here what we have, which is creating, look at this, half a square, okay? That's very volatile energy. Some of you, if you have this in your chart, you will not miss it, okay? And some of you, if you're going to feel those energies, you're going to see it's there to just break free. So there's a lot of breaking free from whatever shadow experiences, and it's not by avoiding it, it's by facing it, being still with it, and acknowledging uh, the spiritual wisdom that wants to come forward with it. Cyrus, I have a frequency for it. This is going to really help you. Some of you, if you want to have access to all my star seed music, you see I put Rigel and I put Alcyon, so Orion, Pleiades, Cyrus here. If you want to have access to those frequencies, comment star seed below, okay? I will send you the link to the playlist. 
Now, why is it so important? Because here you see half a square, but look at this other half a square. So you see this beautiful, beautiful grand square. This is actually one of the sacred geometry that will make us grow the most. That's like opposition, opposition and creating that momentum because it's almost like there's no, it's almost as if you're backed up against the wall and there's just no way out but just through. And that's, you got to bring it all in and kind of deal with everything that's going on. So what is being triggered here is Chiron retrograde. How do you bring balance between your mind and your heart? Okay, so there's a lot here that is being activated. By the way, just a little foresight in terms of forecast, this moon that is here for the full moon that's upcoming on the 17th is going to be here. You see how the universe is a master, master grand teacher for us to really, especially with Chiron energy, Chiron gives you access to become your own healer, your own guru. You already have all those answers. And that means that what wounded you the most, just like Rumi said, this is the, the wound is the place where the light enters. Okay. So there's a lot of that energy that is being coming forward for us to face how we put our focus. Is it purposeful? Is it creating more of our fear, anxiety, and things like that? And how to break through. So the things that are going to support you, here you're going to get spiritual wisdom with Cyrus, spiritual wisdom about some of your experiences, especially as far as your focus. Now with Orion, okay, here, you're going to see this energy. Look at this. We have Venus creating this green dotted line up. And the moon, dotted line, that creates a yard. This is the finger of God, okay? And this is really trying to show you, put your focus within. This is the energy I put for Jupiter retrograde in Gemini. You are a miracle. Where you put your focus, you bring light, you bring life. You are a miracle. You have this God-given power. You're an extension of God's energy, goddess energy. Please take it into this whole fullness into your body. And here Orion is going to help you to do any type of inner alchemy uh, work, especially leaving some of your mental prisons behind. Okay. And through contemplation, through letting all this activate you. Okay. So we have another finger of God. <laughs> Okay, where we have here going to the sun, okay, and we have Uranus in retrograde with Alcyon, the seven sisters, okay, is going to show you and support you in those endings of karmic contracts. So really work with this, and especially as we have this other point, okay, with the collective North Node and Neptune retrograde is all about endings. You guys, this is, this is beautiful energy. Does it always feel comfortable? No, but when you sit with it, then you can get through with it. And you actually will be amazed by how much joy you can bring to yourself by the realization of those teachings. Some of you, if you're interested, I do offer now, I've put it as an offer for everyone readings for those star placement. The ones that resonate being star seeds. I personally really think we're all coming from the stars because your natal chart connects you to the stars. And all star system has a, a connection to a certain lesson, to a certain teaching, okay? And that might be more connected to something that comes easily to you or something that you have to learn, okay? So that's what I have for you, my dear star family. I am thanking you for the sudden growth that has been happening uh, recently on the channel. Thank you so much for all the new people coming this way, joining this, this great awakening that's coming. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste.